Hello traders. Welcome back to another video, in this video, we will be going over part 2, a beginner's guide to support and resistance. Let's get right into the video. Start by adding trusted signals to your charts. Click on the F, X, indicators button at the top of trading view then click on invite only scripts. Click on trusted signals. Now that we have trusted signals on our charts, let's learn more about support and resistance. One method of trading support and resistance levels is right after the bounce. Many retail forex traders make the error of setting their orders directly on support and resistance levels and then just waiting for their trade to materialize. Sure, this may work at times but this kind of trading method assumes that a support or resistance level will hold without price actually getting there yet. You might be thinking, why don't I just set an entry order right on the line? That way, I am assured the best possible price. When playing the bounce, we want to tilt the odds in our favor and find some sort of confirmation that the support or resistance will hold. For example, instead of simply buying right off the bat, we want to wait for it to bounce first before entering. By doing this, you avoid those moments where price moves fast and breaks through support and resistance levels. From experience, catching a falling knife when trading Forex can get really bloody. The break. In a perfect world, support and resistance levels would hold forever, McDonald's would be healthy, and we'd all have jetpacks. In a perfect forex trading world, we could just jump in and out whenever price hits those major support and resistance levels and earn loads of money. The fact of the matter is that these levels break. Often. So, it's not enough to just play bounces. You should also know what to do whenever support and resistance levels give way. There are two ways to play breaks in forex trading, the aggressive way or the conservative way. The aggressive way. The simplest way to play breakouts is to buy or sell whenever price passes convincingly through a support or resistance zone. The keyword here is convincing because we only want to enter when price passes through a significant support or resistance level with ease. We want the support or resistance area to act as if it just received a Chuck Norris karate chop, we want it to wilt over in pain as price breaks right through it. The conservative way. Imagine this hypothetical situation, you decided to go long euro to US dollar hoping it would rise after bouncing from a support level. Soon after, support breaks and you are now holding on to a losing position, with your account balance slowly falling. Do you a accept defeat, get the heck out, and liquidate your position? Or b hold on to your trade and hope price rises up again? If your choice is the second one, then you will easily understand this type of forex trading method. Now, if enough selling and liquidation of losing positions happen at the broken support level, the price will reverse and start falling again. This phenomenon is the main reason why broken support levels become resistance whenever they break. As you would have guessed, taking advantage of this phenomenon is all about being patient. Instead of entering right on the break, wait for the price to make a pullback to the broken support or resistance level, and enter after the price bounces. A few words of caution. In Forex, this does not happen all the time. Retests of broken support and resistance levels do not happen all the time. There will be times that price will just move in one direction and leave you behind. Because of this, always use stop loss orders and never ever hold on to a trade just because of hope. In the previous lessons, you learned about trading support and resistance. Let's review what you've learned. When the price moves up and then pulls back, the highest point reached before it pulls back is now resistance. As the price continues up again, the lowest point reached before it climbs back up is now support. Support and resistance are zones. One thing to remember is that support and resistance levels are usually not exact numbers. To help you filter out these false breakouts, 
you should think of support and resistance more of as zones rather than concrete numbers. One way to help you find these zones is to plot support and resistance on a line chart rather than a candlestick chart. Support and resistance can reverse roles. Another thing to remember is that when price passes through a resistance level, that resistance could potentially become support. The same could also happen with a support level. If a support level is broken, it could potentially become a resistance level. Let's look at a quick live example. In this example, we can see prices trading with higher highs and higher lows showing us a bullish trend. We can then see that price trades to a strong level of previous resistance. Price shows us bearish pressure and begins to exhaust at the level of resistance. Looking at market structure, price fails to break above the level of resistance. It then gives us a lower low and pullback or a bounce to complete the lower high which we know that means the price is showing us bearish pressure and will most likely start trading to the downside. Now you can turn on trusted signals and look for a sell signal, we see a sell signal from trusted signals, then we place an entry with our stop loss just above the level of resistance and our take profit levels are all set to previous levels of support. As you can see we have a winning trade. If we turn trusted signals indicators on to check our chart work, we can see that all the levels we marked were also marked by trusted signals. Ok traders, that is all for today's video. Leave a comment down below and let us know what videos you would like to see with trusted signals. If you have not purchased trusted signals, the link will be in the description below. Be sure to take advantage of that if you haven't already, because trusted signals is on sale and you don't want to miss out. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any future videos. Be sure to join the Discord group where we hold giveaways, learn, and profit together. All links for trusted signals will be in the description below. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.